Good morning. Alright, so we're back to regular study, which kind of threw me for a loop this morning after a week of just kind of wishy-washy study. But today is section 30, so it's a full section each day this week, which is kind of kind of fun, I think. We really get to um, focus on the whole picture. So today is section 30, and it was given in September 1830 in Fayette, New York, for David, John, and Peter Whitmer, Jr., and the prominent doctrine or theme is trust in the arm of God and obedience. So where? That's here. Fayette is there. Okay. So, um, originally it was three separate sections, but, um, in a later printing of the Doctrine and Covenants, it says that Joseph combined these three into one section. Which is kind of nice, because then it's not like four verses, three verses, blah, blah, blah. Um, so the first, uh, let's see. Joseph says, we had much of the power of God manifested among us. It was a conference. They were at a conference, a three-day conference, or however many days. Um, the Holy Ghost came upon us and filled us with joy unspeakable, and peace and faith and hope and charity abounded in our midst. Before we separated, we received the following sections. So I thought that was really um, something, uh, what do I want to say? Not cool, but kind of not an aha. You know where I'm getting. But it says that the Holy Ghost came upon us and they were filled with joy and peace and faith and hope and charity. You know, it's like if you want to develop these characteristics, if you want these attributes in your life, then you need to strive to have the gift of the Holy Ghost with you constantly. So, uh, in the reading last night, uh, the, the section given to David Whitmer, I think, you, you, I erased David, I scratched it out, and I put Haley, and... Um, it's one of those councils that I think everybody can relate to. And I'm going to, I'm just going to read a, a f one through three. I'm just going to read it. Behold, I say unto you, Haley, that you have feared man and have not relied on me for strength as you ought. But your mind has been on the things of the earth more than on the things of me, your maker. And the ministry whereunto you have been called. And you have not given heed unto my spirit, and to those who were set over you, but have been persuaded by those whom I have not commanded. Therefore you are left to inquire for yourself at my hand, and ponder upon the things which you have received. It's no joke that I'm not the biggest fan of being young women's secretary. Okay? I struggled with it. A whole lot at the very beginning a whole lot but as I've prayed to love the girls and to love my calling it's it's become a little bit easier but this spoke to me quite a bit because of that um, but let's see um, the other sections just it's um, talking about obedience and basically a mission call and a mission call. Um, it says, individual instruction is given to the three Whitmer brothers, and Oliver Cowdery's mission to the Lamanites is restated. David, David Whitmer is chastened and given the prerequisites for being obedient. Uh, obedience to Jesus Christ includes making covenants and observing the principles of the gospel. Some of the essential conditions given here are applicable to all who want to be obedient, including recognition and reliance upon the only true source of strength, Jesus Christ. And then it gives, I'm itchy. It gives a quote by President Spencer W. Kimball, and he stresses that <coughs> 
in preparing ourselves for obedience. There are blessings that come from immersing ourselves in the scriptures. The distance narrows between ourselves and our Heavenly Father. Our spirituality shines brighter. We love more intensely those whom we oh we love more intensely those whom we should love. It is much easier to follow counsel. The lessons of life are learned more readily and surely. And uh, we're going to get into this later on, but in the podcast, they were talking about, I think, section 35. There's a verse somewhere in there. I was watching it late last night. That they talk about, um, well, the whole thing is talking about scripture, but we'll get into it later, but I have thoughts about that. Okay. Um, but mainly the thing here that they want to talk about in the book is the disobedience. And it says acts of disobedience are preceded by several factors as they were for David Whitmer. Such factors might include fearing man, being more concerned with the things of the earth than the things of the Lord and heeding Satan's temptations instead of following the promptings of the spirit or following God's authorized leaders. Um, I think that's all I have for this section. I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, I don't know how to end this. All right. Talk to you later.